Greetings and welcome back to Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I am Amazing K and I am excited to be here because today, October 14th, Saturday, it is National Chess Day. Yay! It's also <laughs> National Dessert Day. Yay! So first, let's talk about National Chess Day. As you see, I have two guests here with me that I'm so excited to have here. And I really am excited to introduce to you. I have uh, Miss LaRonda McCann, who is the director of the Detroit Metro Scholastic Chess League. Yay! Welcome, LaRonda. Thank and you. I also have Miss Jada Hamilton, who is one of the top female chess players in Michigan, in Michigan, in the top 10. Welcome, Jada. Hello. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about chess. As we know, well, you may not know, but I've done in my research, chess started in the country of India, and it was really, you know, that was back in the fifth century. So it's been around a very, very long time. And it's a very mentally challenging game, but only the upper class used to play chess. But after the, the people from India, the merchants would go to different countries, they introduced it. And now it's a worldwide sport, a worldwide game, a worldwide, I don't know what to, I think it's a whole mindset thing because I, as smart as I am, I never learned how to play chess. I've had people around me that always said they would teach me, but I just couldn't grasp it. So I admire chess players, top 10 chess players, and people that are managing whole leagues. So let's hear from um, our director of the Metro, Detroit Metro Scholastic Chess League. Tell us, how did you get involved in chess? I'm sure you had to play chess and now you're helping children. Tell us all about what the league is and, and how, how, just tell us. <laughs> um, we'll do, we'll do. Um, it has been a, a fabulous journey for me. This journey began as a chess mom. And I think that's like my most ultimate position here in the, um, the field of chess. I'm just going with my children and supporting them in the world's most intellectual game. It's a game that really helps you navigate life. And I saw its benefits within my children. So in in lieu of just supporting them, I had the opportunity to support others because I, I love to learn and seeing children minds awaken um, to just knowledge in general. But again, how the skills and strategies that are taught in chess are beneficial to life. So once my children matriculated from uh, DPSCD is where they started playing chess um, with their chess coach, Mr. Christopher Lovey, coming back to his community to give back at the Dewey Center for Urban Education at the time, um, just sparked this whole world for me. And just having a variety of experiences and allowing um, children within our area to to navigate this game that seems challenging, like as you said, to most adults and to see them thrive in it has been phenomenal. I've been a chess mom, a chess coach, assistant to the coach, to assistant to uh, the director. And, and I now I have the, uh, the honor to serve in this directorship to give students an opportunity to compete in rated games under the United States Chess Federation, where students have to be a member in order to compete and their games are rated. And again, a lot of the schools that are in this league are mainly DPSCD, but some of our surrounding schools, be it private or parochial or what have you, also have the opportunity to compete because this is where champions come to play. And uh, the, the DMSCL has had the opportunity to host many champions as, as you see one of our guests here today is one of those champions. Hey, thank you, LaRonda. Well, let's talk to one of our champions today here. Miss Jada, tell us a little bit about you and who you are. How did you come to be the chess champion, one of the top 10? And, you know, when did you first start? I know you, your, um, your love for chess. When did you realize it? Just tell us about you, what uh, your, your journey through chess. <laughs> okay, so the first day... Well, when I was taught chess, that's the day I knew I wanted to actually play and take it seriously. 
it was just a fun experience learning the game. And on top of it, I had friends that were also in it. They weren't the full motivation, but just loving the game and I get to have fun with people that I enjoy being with was just the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after just playing the game uh, against my friends and then going to my first few tournaments, I was like, oh, this is very fun. Like, I actually found joy in playing the game and learning from it. Uh, I started in fifth grade. Uh, it was our coach was Kevin Fight. Um, he just saw us one day and was just like, oh, let, let me teach them chess. And he started teaching us chess. And then it just took off from there. We would go to uh, a building called Horatio's and we would uh, go there after school. Sometimes he would come to our class, teach us chess there. And we went to tournaments. We we just did so much, dedicated so much time. Uh, chess was a great opportunity. It allowed me to travel. It helped me mentally as well, especially one thing I love about chess is, especially at a young age learning it, it forces you to sit and think and not to just be on the go 24-7. And I just realized that because now I do teach kids chess of all ages, kids and adults. And one thing I've noticed is with a lot of kids who were very energetic, a lot of them calm down playing and learning the game. So that was an impact in which I really liked that it had, and I would love to spread it to other people. Oh. And the journey, of course, it was a lot of hours dedicated to studying and all that, but the fun was well worth it. Well worth it. Awesome. Now, when you say us, you have a partner yeah. with your chess, with your chess uh, journey, too, your twin sister. Yep, yep. I have a twin sister. Uh, her name is Jaden Hamilton. Oh. Uh, we're both nationally ranked and we're both one of the top female chess players in Michigan. Uh, I'm not, I can't speak on her behalf, but I do know she really enjoys the game as well. And she enjoys teaching as well. It, it's just, I don't know. We just both find the joy in teaching. And I feel the way that we are when it comes to not only teaching the game and playing it, it's just a little different. Like we like to, well, people can easily see how much we have, uh, how much we love the game. Awesome. Now tell us a little bit about the teaching. So you and your sister now uh, teach chess. And yes. go ahead and tell us about that. Uh, me and my sister, we both taught chess prior to, well, when we were in high school, we taught people chess of all ages. But what really helped us, you know, uh, take off in teaching was Miss Chevelle Brown. She employed me and my sister and she helped us uh, get way more people, way more, um, well, reach out to way more schools. We've been to way more schools, not in just Detroit, but all around Detroit and Southfield and uh, Troy and Birmingham. We've just been to a lot more places and, yeah, programs and schools. Uh, we, me and my sister, when it comes to teaching chess, uh, we do people of all ages. It's no issue for us, as long as you're willing to learn or, you know, even if you're not willing to learn, we'll find a way to get you to want to learn. Uh, you want to my contact Educators. <laughs> sure, yes. We would love to put your contact information here. If someone wanted to contact you to have private chess lessons or is it with a group or however you do it, we would love to do that. I might even be soliciting your services because <laughs> I never learned. <laughs> Well, my I'm line is never too old to learn. I took swim yeah. class this year, so yeah, um. <laughs> you're never too old or too young to learn at all. Yeah, but my line is always open. Uh, I literally have people text me, friends and family who text me, "Oh, can you teach me chess?" I, I can. I yeah, my line is open. My phone number will be three one three 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 five seven three one seven. And my email is jada2002, Hamilton, H-A-M-I-L-T-O-N, at gmail.com. Cool. And again, I, I love to teach, me and my sister. Like, we both love to teach it and, you know, uh, do better in chess. Awesome, awesome. Now, thank you so much for that information. Yes, and I'm sure people will be calling you for chess lessons. <laughs> now, LaRonda, can you tell us how, if someone wanted to, that's already know how to play chess and feel like they want to be a part of the Detroit Metro School at the Czech League, how would they get in contact with you? What would they do? How? What are the parameters or the uh, qualifications to even become a member of that? 
Well, the portion that I direct is simply the competitive part. And because it's scholastic, it's all within the schools. So I just have the honor of providing an opportunity for school students. Um, so their coaches, um, either if they're part of our district or part of the community, um, they're to reach out to me at educator underscore LWM at yahoo.com and to express their interest. And again, this is only for those who are representing the school group. Okay. However, our chess community has grown exponentially. As you see, we have our young scholars teaching chess. Um, we have I teach chess, and I believe that's what Miss Hamilton is affiliated with it also. And yep. Detroit City Chess Club is a phenomenal community organization where members of the community can not only learn chess, but they can practice chess. They, uh, in the most recent uh, past, practice on Fridays at the DIA. In the summertime, that's schedule changes, you can check their website at DetroitChess.com and give you a little more information. Um, it'll give you the broad span of it. And because today is National Chess Day, we want to give a shout out to Kevin Fight, the founder of Detroit City Chess Club and a group of students that are competing today. Uh, so congratulations to them. And again, if you check that out and the United States Chess Federation or USChess.org, or my chess, which stands for Michigan Chess, there are other opportunities to compete and learn from there. Uh, for those who are just starting out, I'm not paid by these people, but they're such a great program. Chesskid.com, that is a great place to start. And it's get their feet wet and get familiar with the pieces. Um, it's, a, again, a great place to start for those who want to learn. And even though it says Chess Kid, it's a good place to start for anyone. So... Thank you for uh, celebrating National Chess Day yes. because it is awesome. And, and I, I just like to uh, share my rules for chess. It's never give up. Look at the big picture. And if you don't know, ask. <laughs> and those are our three guiding choices for chess. So yeah, enjoy. I enjoy. love that. Yeah. That's a good, it should be good. Three good guiding lights for life, though. It well, is. I, it is. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. And I'll awesome. share that little poster with you because that is it. Yes. Thank you so much for. Thank you, Jada, and thank you, Miss LaRonda McCann. You guys have really made my day. I'm excited about this, and I know our viewers are going to be excited, and you'll probably be hearing from them. And I just want to say. Thank you so much for helping us celebrate National Chess Day. And we're going to be leaving now because we're going over to a cake shop for National Dessert Day. Okay? So stay tuned for that. Oh, enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Later. Welcome back. That was phenomenal. So now let's continue talking about today, October 14th, Saturday, the second Saturday in the month. And it is also National Dessert Day. Yay! Now, you know, the national calendar, we are big on desserts, celebrating desserts all throughout the year. But this day is encompassing all of the desserts. So we've had cookie day and different types of cookie day, peanut butter. I think I made some peanut butter cookies for you guys. Uh, pecan day. Oh, strawberry rhubarb pie day. Yes, I, I tasted that for the first time on Celebrate Every Day with Amir, with uh, Amazing K. Um, lemon cream pie. Oh, Boston cream pie is actually coming up later on this month, on the 23rd of October. We've had lots of different, we had cookies, we had sugar cookies, we've had angel cake just was this past week. Um, angel cake, angel food cake, s'mores. We did s'mores in my backyard, uh, Kay's Castle Park. Oh my goodness, and all of the ice creams. I think we've had vanilla, chocolate, coffee, ice cream. We had that, and oh my goodness, I tell you, we're big on desserts. But today is National Dessert Day. Any dessert that happens to be a dessert, we celebrate today. So, what's your favorite dessert? I would love for you to put it in the comments. I happen to, on my uh, way home from an appointment, I found a nice dessert place that is in the, uh, well, it's actually just cakes, and it's called All Things Cake. It's in the neighborhood. It's in uh, Livonia, Michigan, on um, 296097 Mile 
right uh, off of Middle Belt, between Middle Belt and Maryland, but close to the Middle Belt. All Things Cake. This is a lovely establishment. Lovely establishment. They have lots of different cakes. And they do specialty cakes. These cakes are premier cakes, okay? And they're homemade. They make them right there. So they don't taste like the manufactured cake or, or, or store-bought cakes. They're delicious. So delicious. And they have cheesecakes. They have... Um, Lots of other cakes. They also have cookies. They have cookies too. And I got a chance to meet the one of the proprietors, Miss Elizabeth, and uh, she has a, a partner, Ruby. Ruby was not there. She's in California right now. But Miss Elizabeth was so wonderful, showing me about you know the cakes and everything. And they are open Monday through Friday, now, Monday through Saturday, from ten to five. So they're open today. On dessert day. So is it okay? They're not open on Sundays, but every day, Monday through Saturday from 10 o'clock. And Miss uh, Elizabeth is also a native Spanish speaker. So if you want to come and talk Spanish to her, because she's from one of my places I'm going to visit, Dominican Republic. I am so excited about that because you know I'm a travel guru. But anyway, yes, this place is awesome. And you know what I love about it? Because I am trying to watch my weight and I love desserts. And desserts are good if you eat them in moderation. So they have what we call mini cupcakes. And you see that there. But listen, I have a mini cupcake right here. Look how many. I wanted you to see the actual size of this mini cheesecake cupcake. And this is one of my favorite strawberry cheesecake cupcake. Look, it even has the graham cracker cusp, the cheesecake. And it's got the little strawberry filling and a little strawberry dollop of whipped cream. And I'm going to taste this because I'm a foodie. And homemade cheesecake. Oh, my God. It's just, look at that. Look, 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 look. Mmm. 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 Oh, my goodness. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Get you some. Go to All Things Cake. They have a website right here. Mm -hmm. They're on Facebook. You can see those beautiful cakes. Even cakes for weddings. Mm -hmm. Specialty cakes. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Go get some. And celebrate dessert day. Okay? So, that's it for today. We've had chess day. We've had dessert day. We've got a lot of information today. I just, all I will have to say to you, be bold, be beautiful, be blessed, be you. When I say you, I mean your original uniqueness because you're all unique and you all have something to bring to the table and you all have something to celebrate. So I'm Karen K. Rush, Amazing K, and I approve this message. Bye-bye.